Okay, welcome to the installation video. I went ahead and bought a domain since I'm going to be installing the paid surveys blog that is that has my keywords inside the domain. I only bought a .info for demo purposes, but normally I'd recommend a .com, .org, or .net. Um, but you know, and I'd, I'd actually normally do a bit more research into making sure that um, that the the domain I'm purchasing is keyword rich. This does have my keywords, but I haven't actually looked up make cash with paid survey. So something to keep in mind that, you know, do a little keyword research and at the very least make sure your keywords are in your domain because that'll help you rank better, okay, and quicker. Right, okay, so this is an important video because um, obviously you can't proceed with customizing your blog until you, you can install it. Installing is actually very easy. Now, I know I've done this a lot so I make it sound easy but it really is easy but get familiar with this this video and the installation process and once you've done one or two it's it's gonna be you know it, it, you're gonna be amazed at how easy it is so um, if you don't have cPanel hosting I highly recommend you get cPanel hosting and not only helps these blogs install easier but with WordPress in general um, I just find this particular type of hosting um, as you can see here cPanel is is just uh, so much easier you know, compared to GoDaddy hosting or non cPanel hosting. That's just my personal opinion, but I've been building sites since 2004, so, um, you know, that's something I'd recommend. If you look on the documentation page, you'll see hosting cPanel recommended. HostGator, you can get um, the first month for a penny if you uh, click this link. So, just something to consider. Right, there's two things we're going to do, actually, three. One is we're going to create a database. So, if you've never created one, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it next thing we're going to do is upload two files and then the third thing we're going to do is go through the installation process in a new browser okay so let's begin with a MySQL database what I usually do is have a little notepad file ready to go <coughs> where I've got database name user and password because I'll need this information okay so let's go ahead and create a database so you click MySQL databases now I, keep, I usually keep this to about five characters so since I'm doing paid survey I might do something like paid s and then create database now I'm gonna, I need this full string of characters here so the account name underscore and the database name so you want this full set of characters click copy go back to my notepad file that's my database name go back now I need to create a user add new user so I'm going to do something like paid S12 for 2012 or whatever you want to do. I usually keep that to about seven characters. And then a password. Let's go ahead and generate one. Doesn't really matter, but I'll take that one. I'm going to control C to copy that. Go back to my notepad file and paste that in. Because first of all, you, you need this information. Second of all, you need to click I have copied this password in the safe place. So you tick that box, use password, and then we create user. Okay, so now I need this string as well because this is my user information. Oops, sorry, I do that sometimes. Right click, copy, and paste that there. So I've got my database name, my database user, and my password. I'm going to need that for the installation process. Go back, and there's one more step here. I want to scroll down and we want to add user to database. Now, if you have multiple blogs installed on your server, you're obviously going to have a big list of different databases and, and usernames so you want to make sure that your database and your user are the two that match up so you're adding the proper user to the proper database click add and then tick all privileges click make changes now that user paid s12 has been added to this database paid s go back okay go back home and we want to click file manager document root for that particular domain show hidden files I usually have that ticked and then click go that's going to open up file manager you can see the directory is empty in this particular case and then we're going to click this upload button and we're going to upload just two files one is the import buddy.php so double click that okay so that's uploaded click back or you, I could have clicked choose again actually click upload and choose file and we're going to I'm going to double click this zipped blog file do not unzip this this file you just need to upload these two so I'm going to double click that 
Now because I have a slow internet connection, at least in terms of upload speeds, it's about 80 kilobytes a second, so it's terribly slow. It's going to take about three minutes, so I'm going to pause this video and come back once it's uploaded. See you in a minute. Okay, so that's loaded up now. I'll click uh, back to home. Now you can see the two files. Sometimes you'll see this little HT access file pop up. I usually delete them, but you, you probably don't have to. Um, these are the main two files you, you want to be concerned with. Okay, so now that those two files are uploaded, we want to go to our domain, type a forward slash import buddy.php because we want to access this file here and then click enter and you're going to see step one of seven so click next step and then next basically it's unzipping that file for us right now click next step to get to step four and this is where we need this database information we need the database name see that there database name paste that in there database user paste that in there and then database password and we paste that in there and that's it then we click next step okay a database import complete click the button again step six of seven import complete delete import and migration files and that's it we're done so <clears throat> if I had a faster upload connection and I, w I wasn't talking, you know, and, and describing the process, I, I'd probably have that installed in about two minutes. Um, so now if I just delete the import buddy bit up in my browser and click enter, we'll see that the blog is already installed. So I'm going to uh, type forward slash wp-login.php so we can log into the blog. And you'll find your login details in the readme first uh, document, but there's also a, a blog login details folder as well that just has the same information. So for this particular set of blogs, you want to use this password here. So admins a username, type in that, paste in that password, and we log into the blog. Okay, so we're in. So in the next video, again, if 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 it seemed a little bit unclear, just watch this video again. I'm trying to keep it short so you can see how easy it is and rewatch it and then try to install and it should work really well for you. The next video I'm going to install on a subdomain and I'll see you then.